we go into motion. Demery sets a screen. Hill on the right wing. Crossover. Crossover. Step back long two. Hill made it. 18 motor. He made it on the right side. Dogs lead with one second to go. They hoist it at the horn. We win it. The dogs win it. Woohoo! Georgia. How about that? How about that? All right. So it is the morning after Georgia and Florida State. I got absolutely no sleep last night. What a game it was indeed. Georgia comes back from 17 points and with seven minutes left to stun Florida State 68 to 66 in Florida State. Absolutely one of the has to be top three basketball games I've ever watched. I mean, this game had everything in it. Um, we'll start first. Georgia's defense never gave up the entire game, and that was wonderful to see. This might have been one of the most greediest Georgia wins ever, as far as I'm concerned, ever. Um, they, uh, they kept fighting in. The defense gave this team a realistic chance to win. Even when they were down 17 points, they weren't giving up. Um, Blue Kane and Noah Thomason, Jalen DeLoach, yeah, uh, Silas Damari Jr. played all played great, man. But the the shot of the night was made by my man Justin Hill. Justin Hill does it again. If you remember, he had a shot versus LSU last year. He does it again versus Florida State. It was a long two pointer. He probably even looked to be off balance. Um, he drained it. I mean, it was beautiful. And then Florida State get. All right, here's the thing. I went on Florida State's lean stream here on Florida State's. Uh, announcer called it, and their color guy said Georgia was a, uh, Georgia was not man enough or something like. That. He said Georgia needed to man up. They did in those last seven minutes. They did, and it was absolutely just one of the most. Cra Even had a fight. Uh, Russell Tashia got ejected from the game because of a uh, of I don't know if you necessarily call it a fight, but he and the Florida State player went down went up with the ball, and then they went down with the ball as if they were tugging and pushing. That could have been a lot worse. That little referee jumped in that uh, scrimmage and uh, somehow managed to, to get that fixed. So, you know, shout out to him because I wouldn't have did that. But, I mean, it's wins like this that make your – that people always pick on me, dude. They say, they say well, you, you like Georgia basketball more than you like Georgia football. And the truth of it is, yes, I find it personal – stories with Georgia basketball better than Georgia football but it's with moments like that it's moments with let's be real we had a 60 26 season two seasons ago hard moments uh great moments have been hard to come by with this Georgia basketball team and last night was simply amazing that's all you could say it was it was absolutely amazing down 17, if this was the team two or three years ago, down 17 to Florida State, they would have given up. It would have been game over. But Georgia managed to pull, to claw their way back somehow and win that and win that basketball game. I mean, it was absolutely crazy. Um, the final two games of the night, I believe, were Georgia and uh, Arkansas. Um, Arkansas beat Duke, and uh, Georgia beat Florida State, so the SEC-ACC challenge ended up being a 7-7 tie. I kind of had Tennessee winning, but other, really other than that, um, I wanted Florida to win as well, but that's really all I can say about that. There was not much. Uh, there's not much you can do about the other teams, but the best game of the night had to be Georgia and Florida State. I mean, it go all to like 12 o'clock, dude. I mean, it was... It was a long night for me. I did not go to bed until probably around 2.30. Um, it was just a great game. It was a great game. It's a game that will – hopefully this prevails Georgia to the next level. This was a very memorable game, a game we will never forget. Um, shout GG to Florida State. I thought they were going to win it for a little bit, but uh, down seven when, when we were down 17, but, man – Georgia and people, some of the ACC homers are trying to say Florida State choked. I'd rather go with Georgia came back and won the game because Georgia turned it on those last seven minutes. I mean, you cannot stop Georgia. They were getting turnovers, they were forcing bad shots, and they were hitting shots. Um, shout out to Jabri Abdul Rahim. He hit that three pointer with two minutes left to give Georgia their first lead since it was five, uh, five nothing. 
that would go on to help Georgia. And shout out to my man, Frank Anselm Ivey. We always talk about this. You got to hit your free throws. And Big Frank had two free throws in the last uh, 57 seconds of the game that gave Georgia the lead. The first one rattled home, and then the second one was beautiful. I mean, that's how you win basketball games. That's how you beat teams like Florida State and Miami and Wake Forest. You have to hit your free throws, and Big Frank did that, man. So shout out to Frank Anselm. Uh, uh, I'm just saying, man, wonderful night, wonderful night. I'm tired. I, I got to go to town later today as well. So I didn't get, I didn't get a, an inch of sleep last night. I was just so excited. I, don't, I tried to go to sleep, and the only thing was on my mind was uh, Justin Hill hitting a long two-pointer to win the game. But – it is now the day after the game, or you could probably still say the day of the game because the game technically didn't go off to 12 o'clock, but the game. Uh, but still, man, I mean, unbelievable game, unbelievable game. Uh, Georgia will be back in action. Well, the, the Lady Dogs play in the ACC ACC Challenge tonight in women's basketball. They take on Duke, um, some old, a old um, 90s matchup, if you're not aware of, Georgia was really good in the 90s in women's basketball, so was Duke. They met in the Final Four, and Georgia won. Not the national championship, though, but the Final Four. But men's team will be back in action tomorrow as they face um, the Mercer Bears. They last played Mercer in probably 2015-16. Mercer has played Georgia pretty tough the last few times they've played. In 2000, I believe it was 14-15, they had a Three or four overtime game, Georgia end up winning. But uh, that dude, he, he, I can't remember what his first name was, but Mercer had a player named Strawberry. That dude could, could shoot lights out. He was awesome to watch. But hopefully Georgia continues this winning streak. Hopefully the dogs win. Um, hopefully the dogs win tomorrow. But as of right now, we're going to celebrate this win over Florida State. 68-66 is your final score. Georgia upsets Florida State. It's a great day to be a Georgia basketball fan.